P P P P P P P P P P P P K P S S P S What they do? Now, people, we understand that the C R I M E situation in Jamaica is getting very bad. It is getting out of fun. When it comes to the slapper, when it comes to robberies, when it comes to S H O O T I N G S and Rete and Lele. And we saw that a lot of persons in Jamaica and overseas Jamaicans, they were calling for Renita Adams to be the new commissioner of police and be in charge for basically the secular situation in a Jamaica because people like them say, with desperate times comes desperate measures. And people, this is due to the fact that Mr. Adams has the background, he has the resume. Without a shadow of a doubt, everybody and their mother, the post, the dog, everybody in a Jamaica knows say, all of those people that are committing all sorts of rape in a Jamaica, they are fearful of this man, point blank and period. But people we have to also remember that there are always two sides to the story. And remember, there are also people from the human rights groups. There are also numerous complaints. There were also numerous court cases where talk about that involves M-U-R-D-E-R or all sorts of things that were laid against Mr. Renita Adams. And we have to also take into consideration that there are many security experts and many popo that did not want him as the commissioner. So people, you see that there were valid reasons why people did not want this man and the truth and the fact is that if we went by the court of public opinion, maybe about 90% or more of the people would have wanted to see him as the new commissioner of police, point blank and period. And like I said before, there were numerous court cases that he had to fight and cause the government of Jamaica and the JCF and basically put a black eye upon the JCF forever. So in this side of the story, I am going to let you listen to an ex that used to work closely with Mr. Adams. He used to work closely with the tactical team. So people remember, like me say, there are always three sides to the story. We are talking about Mr. Renita Adams' side and we are speaking about this ex side and we are speaking about the truth. So take a listen and then let me give my peace. Yeah, blessings, blessings, my people. Jamaica land we love, you know. The court of arms. You know, I mean, bless upon herself. All of the hard working people, them, you know, upstanding citizens of Jamaica, and the rude boy, them, remember, change is always there, you know. Bully for things out of the world, if you want to see. So, basically, me in the dark up in Babylon, you know, I try just all the real good vibes and a good meds, you know. It's kind of silly how one country I'm born, you know, I really don't feel comfortable. I mean, no fear, you know, because we know what it is to be, must be. So, I just want to share a small story with you, know, and hope it can collaborate some things on the field, or it can shed some light upon the corruption that go on the security force. Now, when it comes to date, I'm not going to be specific because um, I don't want to be outed by a process of elimination, you know what I mean? There are smart people around. So, between 1991 and 1997, you know what I mean? And beyond, we joined one of the major security forces in Jamaica, which is one of the JDF and one of the JCF. So, I joined one of them. You know, yeah, everything, my career progressed and everything, you know? Start work around the Prime Minister, start work around Governor General. You know, at the time, I think it was Sir Florizel Glassball at the time. You know, and then after we have Sir Howard Cook. So, um, these two governor generals I served now. Anyway, you know, because well, be as a Spanish town, you know, even during the gas riot, everything, you know, Tivoli flare up, serve a country good. No, yeah, the axis of evil, Rena, when you am D. Cardova Adams. You know what I mean? Renata D. Cadova Adams, man. Him, at the reincarnation of Adolf Hitler. You know what I mean? And the axis of evil. And act like he's a perfectionist. Now, I just want to share a quick incident. 
a place named Africa. So many a March but nobody don't have Spanish town. You know what I mean? Um go look for some people or we never find them. And if I don't find them, you know, all we can do ask some questions, right? Or would have sit up a little watch out and see if we can see who we look for. Yo, I be a beating people start getting a woman and man. I'm just a beating. Let's just imagine you as a big person. Have somebody come and beat you. You know what I mean? So, I mean, never too like that, you know. So, basically, you know, I was object in touching anyone. I just provide the security, you know. Like, make sure, say, nobody now this like, uh, running by the team. And the thing where really get me bringle now, we were in station in Spanish town one time, and then again, we hear like some people where our personals were at um, the flat bridge blocking the road and trying to extort money from, you know, passengers and um, drivers, which is illegal. So anyway, we'll make a fast spin and go around here. And um, up on our. Upon our arrival, we saw personals exactly doing that, you know. And the thing that struck me most that this man was there. Remember, he was um like a, a top ranking, so he should even be on those little petty missions. But he likes to go on them because he can execute his evil. And the team start fire indiscriminately up in the bushes. Well, when you have flat bridge, when you stand up a flat bridge already in that vicinity, if you look up, I think maybe the vegetation might be thick, but people live up there. And, you know, me, people are cry out and baby are ball and, you know, me, I said, my God, I wonder if them kill nobody up there. I don't know if nobody gets shot in the people, but I just want to show you the type of atrocities where this brother you put up with, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. Love, you know, beat up people and just fire shot, you know, and all these things, so. This is one of the things that me and him kick off, you know what I mean? And him start make phone call to my superiors and say, well, me involved in a gang. And, you know, them start work on my job now, say me can't lose it. And eventually it did happen because they came to the house one time and, you know, surround the house. And said I'm searching for guns and all these things and I was still an active member. You know what I mean? And anyway, if I didn't find any guns, because what they were talking about is makeup story. You know what I mean? The same week again, him and a team of guys circle me. You know, just as me I ride a bicycle, I come up the street. You know what I mean? Because sometimes I park my car and them fire shot over my head. One of the guys, them, for no reason at all. You know what I mean? Yeah. And by the following week, you know what I mean? I get a phone call and say, hey, listen, be careful, you know, because I step on some people can. You know what I mean? I don't know where the phone call come from, you know, but as somebody with concern. So anyway, the day when they come and they find find going they jaw the car and say the car involved in a shootout. You know what I mean? And they carry me down a station. Remember, you know, I'm still an active member, you know. Pull up questions and all these things. And by the evening for over. Let me throw back the car key, give me, and me drive my car, come home. You know, with one traffic violation, them say. End up in a court, pay a $10,000 for the violation. You know what I mean? Um, eventually, me end up lose the work, you know. So, me just to surf and fly. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. It was successful, it made me lose the job. Just like that, without no proper explanation. After the traffic offence. Remember, this is a traffic offence, you know, people. Traffic. Nothing for you that miss the media. You know? And that is the kind of connection you have and the kind of powers. You know what I mean? And you have the access of evil. You know what I mean? And as long as you have people like him and him associates them, Jamaica will always be in carnage. You know what I mean? So bless up on yourself, people. You know what I mean? Because the last time I come Jamaica was over 10 years ago. And I spent two and a half days and I was basically camouflage. Yes. Cause me not trust a shadow after dark in a people. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah man. Yeah, so that's my short story that I'm gonna share.
that how me feel for sure at this time because there's so much more. But grandmother said everything good for good for talk. So the youth them out there, especially all the DJ them. You know what I mean? I'm not calling the artist name because I know I'm putting up on blast. But be careful. Be with the music if you're not with the music because you can end up in some crap. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody said them bad enough. But I tell you, it's when the system is ready to eat you. Trust me, it eat your flesh and your soul. You know what I mean? I'm so happy to vibes cartel. I have vibes cartel on a friend, you know. You understand? I don't know him. He is not my artist. But what happened to him is a shame. You understand? It's a shame what happened to him. You understand? It's a great miscarriage of justice. You got to talk to somebody who is in the system and know how justice serves. You know what I mean? But this is a lesson learned. So I like to DJ them with a flare up out there. I tell you now, one don't have to have a gun. One can be given to y'all. Yeah, man. Make the money, live in the life, and love the badness. Peace and blessing. Yeah, man. Alright, so this is the second part of my, of my thing I'm going to do right now. And the purpose of him stripping away my job, right? That was to. Strip away the protection, little that I had left. You know what I mean? And the shot that was fired over my head was a stern warning because I understand how he operates and I study him. You know what I mean? And I think he was on to me that I was studying. And um, if you're a Dan or a person of influence and he thinks that you're a troublemaker, you know what I mean? He will get you out. You know what I mean? Yes, it will destroy you. Yeah, so that's exactly what they wanted to do to me. But I read the card because on the day when I flew, you know, um, I have people still looking out for me. You know, it's like um, people when they me is a good youth, they actually call me and say, "Yo, I hope you see if I move out because them just come again." You know what I mean? And that is all my operate. You know what I mean? So, even hear about the Chucky Brown situation and all these things, don't be alarmed, people. You know what I mean? Don't be alarmed. You know, this guy, he does like power. And here's my categorization of Renato D. Cadu of Adams. I think he's a sociopath. If you look in his eyes, he don't have a normal eyes. And that's why he always wear the glasses. His eyes is not normal. He has a very animalistic looking eyes. Like a lion or something. I think he's a, actually a cyborg. Like part human and part machine. And people might say, oh, you're exaggerating. But if you ever get the opportunity, which people really do. Because he's living those glasses. He lives behind them. He's not like a normal person because he he um he likes evil, you know what I mean? Even for simple things, you know. And my just God, my just glad say, you know, the Almighty help me get out of them power before them actually tear me into two pieces. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So that was the whole thing for them though. Take out the protection and try to kill me. You know what I mean? And it would be so easy to be covered. Because his theory is always one thing. A shootout. And you get away nearby bushes. Even if you're downtown. But no bush not there. Yeah, maybe I'd be in a flower spot. Mm. So that's my little story that. You know what I mean? I hope it can be a lesson. So who people got try to go down the wrong path or who act like them want to go head on with a bull. You know what I mean? You have to just be careful. So people like you hear the man say he used to work closely with the he gave you several instances of certain things that happen that are not supposed to be a part of the JCF protocol. 
Some people, like I said before, there are always three sides to every story. This is this ex-officer's side. We have to hear from Mr. Adams to defend himself, and we have to also decipher between ourselves. Use our common sense and our knowledge. Be practical and think, and then we can come up with our own conclusion. And let me know what you think in the comment section, because like I say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section.